What does someone with 100,000 subscribers think they would do if their channel was instantly drained to zero and they had to restart over? How would they end up growing their channel after all of the mistakes, things they've learned? That is what we are talking about in this live stream. I'm going to show you exactly what I'm doing because I'm actually starting a second channel. Not even going to tell you the name because I want this to be a test for myself to see if what I'm actually saying is true. So that's going to be a really interesting video coming out later on this channel. But we're going to look at what is my strategy. I'm starting from zero. I'm not letting anyone know about this channel. Zero, and, or at least almost anyone. I'm not going to tell people what the actual name is. I have told some people my strategy. But starting from zero, am I able to get to 1,000 subscribers? And can I do it in 30 days? That's my goal um, and I'm excited to share with you my strategy, how I'm going about doing this. That's what we're jumping into. Uh, what is up, Reddish? Welcome to the stream. We got Elvira in here. Mason was here a little earlier. Nice to see you. Um, a random Texan has come back. Thanks for coming back to the stream. Glad you are here. And let's just jump into this because I, I really want to get into it, especially if you're watching the replays here. There will be a Q&A after this too, so make sure you do stick around. Uh, but... Strategy number one, and as I'm doing this, um, I have my notes open on my phone here. And the first thing I did when deciding, you know, I, I've got a brand new channel I want to start. I have an idea in my head. The first thing I did is to make sure I got very niche specific with the channel I'm about to start. So even though I don't want to get into too much of the specifics of my channel, it was a very broader topic. And as I started figuring out who am I making videos for, I began to weed out different content I could make in that same genre. So I believe the more specific you can get with your audience, the better. The more you can know the people who you think are going to be watching your videos, the more important it is. Because the last thing you want to do is to waste 5, 10, 20 videos making content for people you really don't want watching your channel. Because you can make videos for people on YouTube that everyone watches. But if no one comes back and stays watching and you don't build a community and you don't get subscribers as a result, is it worth it? Is it worth getting 100,000 views, a million views if no one stays around to watch the next video you put out? So the first thing I do and what I am doing is I wrote out my audience guide. And I'll actually show it with, I'll show it to you guys here um, without showing you the name. But I have this whole target audience guide. I'll kind of cover that part up. Um, but I have this whole guide here of what I've written out. And this is me guessing as to who I'm actually trying to reach. I think they're, I look at their age. I look at their income. Do they live at home? What's their end goal? What problems are they facing? Because if I can figure out, the people I'm trying to reach, what problems they have, what benefits they want to achieve, what's their end goal. Even if you're not doing a business channel, even if you're just making fun videos online, still knowing who that end person is that you're trying to reach makes all the difference. If, you, if, if you're an entertainment channel and people just want to laugh, well, then you're probably not going to make tutorials. You're probably going to go a different route because you want to be an entertainer. You're probably going to go a little more extreme. Uh, versus someone who's trying to grow their business, knowing who you want to reach. Let's say maybe you are uh, a coffee shop in a local town and you're trying to reach people around the area. You know, you're not going to talk about like your favorite coffee uh, flavors, which could reach everyone. You're probably going to make videos specifically for that area that you live in. And, and so that way people can come to your coffee shop. So knowing your audience, let me know in the chat. Do any of you guys, have you actually written out? And I mean, not, don't just think in your head. Let me know in the chat. Have you ever written out who your target audience is? Giving them a name, their age, their income, what videos they like watching. That's one part I didn't show you yet. Let me show you this, all right? I have screenshotted tons and tons of videos in my niche. These are all screenshots of channels. That, I, that are in the niche that I'm trying to grow my channel in that are their top performing videos. Do you even have that? Let me know. Do you have? <laughs> no, sir. Come on. We need target audience. Kit Perfect says yes. I hope that's in reference to having a target audience written down on paper. That is what you need to have. Um, 100%. Um, and what I'm doing 
and, and this is one of the reasons too, especially having all these countless videos that I've screenshotted on my phone um, that I can reference. I have that because I'm looking at the top performing videos. And that kind of leads us into number two is while you're studying your audience, trying to figure out, you know, that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to figure out who I'm making videos for, what videos are going to satisfy them the most. What I'm also doing is I'm looking at people who are already doing it. Okay. There's, there's going to be other people in your niche who are making content similar to yours and success leaves clues. So I'm looking for clues. I'm looking at these top performing videos and I'm seeing what topics are they choosing? If I look at five to 10 channels in my niche that I'm trying to grow a channel in, do they all talk about similar topics? You know what I found? That each and every channel has the exact same topic chosen in one of their top performing videos. So that's a sign to me, I need to make a video similar to that. If that is what's working on the platform, I need to make content Similar to that, I'm also looking at YouTube shorts. I'm looking at what are the top performing shorts on YouTube right now in my niche? How many views do they have and how long ago did they get those views? So I'm, I'm even looking like two months ago, this person got 100,000 views talking on this topic. This is how the video lays out. Okay, I understand that. If I make one similar to that in my own way on that same topic, I could potentially get the same results that that person got within two months or maybe less. So the more you can study before you click record and just start putting content out there, even though I'm a big proponent of just getting out there and record, if you take some time and just do some research, figure out who you're making content for, that can help you make sure that the videos you do post on a brand new channel actually perform super well. Um, <laughs> I wear pants, not shorts, says Grow with Angie. She's not a shorts person. <laughs> That's funny. Um, what if you don't have good camera quality? You don't need good camera quality. Um, I wonder if I have it here. Do I? Uh, no, uh, I don't have my uh, my visual aid with me right now. Um, I grew this channel to 100,000 subscribers using the cheapest iPhone, the iPhone SE. It's a $400 iPhone. You can pick it up from your carrier for like 10 bucks a month or less, okay? I used the cheapest iPhone and I didn't even use the back facing camera. I used the front facing camera. I was even using the good side and I still grew this channel to 100,000 subscribers. So camera quality out the window. More, more time should be spent not thinking about which camera or microphone or lighting, but what content you're gonna produce. And the more you know the people you're trying to reach, you can make sure the video you put out is actually a banner. Amazing. Um, Mr. Beast was interviewed by Logan Paul on Impulsive. And Logan Paul and uh, Mr. Beast said to Logan Paul, it was all the topics. If people would have done the exact same topics he did, those videos would have taken off. And yes, there is some aspect of making good content there, but just making good topic choices for the person you're trying to reach, the audience you want to reach, Huge. Mr. Beast Grove, actually, and I'm not going to get too deep into Mr. Beast. We'll get to some of these next tips here. Um, something that Mr. Beast did was he kind of like hijacked PewDiePie's success in the early days. He was like this proponent of making, you know, putting Mr. Uh, putting uh, PewDiePie's face up on a billboard was one of his videos that he did um, or putting it on the side of cars and stuff. And so he rode on that and PewDiePie's viewers were the same viewers he was trying to reach, which was like a younger audience. There's a younger audience watching PewDiePie. PewDiePie brought up Mr. Beast. And I actually originally subscribed to Mr. Beast because I was watching PewDiePie, saw PewDiePie talk about Mr. Beast, and I went over and watched his videos. And I was like, yeah, he's helping PewDiePie hit 100 million subscribers. I'm going to subscribe to him. And so... You know, he he was paying attention to what his audience cared about, similar channels to his, what those viewers were, and made content similar to that. Ended up bringing some stuff over. That's a rough <laughs> explanation there, but that's how I came across it. So even worry about that. Think about the content that you're producing. Um, next on my list, let's see here. Obviously, I have this very well planned out. So you know, I've taken all this time to study the competitors. You know, that's what I'm doing. I'm studying my competitors. I'm made, trying to make sure I really know who my audience is and the content they actually care about. And then what I'm going to do is put out content similar to what's working. It's so important. 
if something is currently working on the platform, if you find videos in your niche that within a couple months got a ton of views, you know that's a hot topic. You know that's an area that you should go. Uh, for example, on this channel, I've noticed in my YouTube analytics that my CapCut tutorials perform really, really well. They basically carry my channel. So I was like, okay. And I can also look if I search CapCut tutorials and scroll through those, I can see that all the other CapCut tutorials are getting like hundreds of thousands of views in just a couple of months. Okay, yikes, I keep hitting this microphone. I need a better microphone set up. But I noticed that those people, other people uh, making CapCut tutorials getting hundreds of thousands of views in just a couple of months. So what does that make me think? I need to go make a CapCut tutorial. What did I do? I made, you know, 10 legendary tips in CapCut 50,000 views in like a month and a half. 50,000 views. That's huge. So just by doing a little recon and research, not only my own analytics, but just looking on YouTube in my niche, seeing what's working, what's not, I was able to go create content similar to that and it performed. And that's the exact thing I'm going to do with this brand new channel. If I see content in my niche that's performing really well, I'm going to make a similar video on a similar topic. And I'm also going to pay attention to how they made that video. What was their thumbnail like? What was their hook like that caught people's attention and brought them in? You know, those are things I want to pay attention to. So that way I can do similarly. It's obviously worked before I can do it as well. Hope that makes sense. Is that making sense? Let me know. <laughs> we got sheesh <laughs> from Adian Studios. Um, why do I get like five subs every 20K views? So it also depends on what type of content you're putting out. Um, so for me, I get like a thousand, what is it? I get, um, darn it, what is it? Yeah, a thousand subscribers per 100,000 views. Um, but depending on which content you make and whether you have clearly articulated that this is the type of content I make, is gonna affect how many subscribers you get. If you're making gaming videos or meme videos, it might be a lower conversion rate for subscribers. Um, putting something in the middle or end of your video, encouraging people to subscribe and letting them know that there'll be more content like this in the future that can encourage people to subscribe to your channel. Um, um, uh, Rohit says it makes a lot of sense. It does. It's, 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 that's my strategy. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you uh, on the silver platter, my strategy, and hopefully there'll be a video coming out on this channel where I'll be like, how to get a thousand subscribers in 30 days. Um, <laughs> because that's what I'm hoping to do just to show people with the right strategy. I totally think it's possible to get a thousand subscribers in 30 days. Maybe I'll fail potentially getting a thousand subscribers is a lot, uh, but I'm cocky <laughs> and then I'll be put in my place or I'll be successful. Don't know which yet, but we're going to find out. <laughs> Um, all right, just taking a quick peek at the comment. Uh, tch, 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 cool, cool, cool. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Um, as far as content goes, let me also tell you that I am putting a more heavy focus on shorts than long form video to start out. I think there is huge opportunity in shorts, and like I was telling you, I researched shorts in my niche. What you can now do, and I'll even try to show you this on my phone here. Um, let me go here to YouTube, um, and hopefully I don't show you anything personal here. <laughs> but here I am on YouTube. If you click on Shorts now, which I'm just going to pause this for a second, there is now, I don't know if it'll show it here. Let me see if I can block my face. You see the search bar here? There is a search bar. So you can literally click the search button and search for just Shorts and then be able to scroll through them and, and look at some of the top performing videos in Shorts. And so that's what I did. I started searching things related to the niche that I talk about. And I started looking at the top shorts and I made an entire list. I'll actually show you this in my notes. I have an entire list of all the top performing shorts. Uh, <laughs> this is an entire list of all the top performing shorts in my niche, how many views they got in a span of how many months and a link so I can reference those shorts, see how they styled the content, what was their intro like. You know, that's how far I'm studying. Are you studying that far with your content or are you just uploading? <laughs> and just like, this might be a cool idea. Or hey, I'm gonna click, you know, the screen recorder on in my game and just start playing and I'll grab little clips out. Like I'm going deep. I am trying to find the top performing shorts in my niche and then I'm gonna make similar content uh, to those. 
Um, and I wish I could get more specific, but I don't want you guys all going over to my channel and subscribing. And it's like, oh, well, you told your other viewers from a 100,000 subscriber channel to go subscribe. No wonder you got a thousand subscribers in 30 days. I want to do it organically. I want to be able to tell people, you know, that no, it's not that, oh, I'm a small creator and YouTube hates me. Like, I want people to know that, yes, even as a brand new creator, you can get to a thousand subscribers without, <laughs> without a doubt um if you put in the work first making the right content um but yeah that, that's what i'm after so priorities right now is shorts because i think those have the highest potential right now of people just seeing the short and it blowing up and potentially getting a lot of subscribers in your niche in those shorts i'll probably be encouraging people to subscribe because one thing i want to hit on this new channel is monetization so i want to hit my thousand subscriber mark I'm not going to worry about watch time yet. I think I can get that easier later on. Uh, I just want to hit that subscriber threshold first. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, but I will put in some long form content in there. So it's research first. And then also the other important thing, guys, thumbnails and titles. You know, topic is obviously important. We can research topics that are high performing, but making sure that our thumbnails are super well designed. More time on the thumbnail like I have right now, like right now, I have a whole bunch of ideas in my head of content I can put out. I am not, I am not going to make those videos until I have a plan of how my thumbnail is going to look and what my title is going to say. And if that thumbnail and title is not compelling enough for someone to, I must click on this video, I'm not going to make that video. It has to be that good. Are you, I'm going to ask the chat here, how are you? planning out your thumbnails and titles before you even make the video. Let me know. Are you doing that? It's okay if you aren't. You know, I know that's pretty extreme, but if people don't click on your videos, what's the point of making the video? If I spend 10 hours making a video and one hour on a thumbnail, <laughs> this live stream, uh, the thumbnail was one hour, but still, you know, for content that I actually want to rank really, really well and I want to perform super well, if I spend 10 hours making a video, and then one hour making the thumbnail and putting together the title. It may perform, but there's no guarantee that it will. But if I first start, if I put 10 hours on the thumbnail and the title to make sure people click, to make sure my click-through rate is super high, that is more important. I think that is something most new creators aren't focusing on. And I want to make sure if I'm starting into a brand new niche, I want YouTube to know instantly, you know, this is a good video. I need to promote this out, even though it's a brand new channel. Um, so let me know how much, how much time, let me ask this, let me ask this and I will get to your guys' questions too. How much time do you spend on your thumbnails and coming up with your titles? Let me know. Give me some time frames. How long are you actually spending on these thumbnails, uh, and, and, and your titles as well? I would be very interested to know. Um, uh, animal videos kit says, honestly, I make thumbnails in Fonto. I love Fonto. It's such an awesome app. Um, if I ever have to make a thumbnail on my phone, I use Fonto. I will use some Canva elements as well, but for adding text, oh, Fonto is so good. I love Fonto. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I plan out my thumbnails and titles. Yes. Awesome. That is the route to go. Um, <laughs> um, Grove Angie says not much on titles, an hour or so on thumbnails, uh, Kid Perfect says like two hours. Animal Video Kid says 30 minutes. I don't know says O-R-L-Z-S. <laughs> um, uh, where is this one? Takes me to record and everything like two hours. Um, yeah, you know, uh, depending on what kind of video I'm making, it can take like an hour to two hours. You know, I can relate to that. Um, shout outs do nothing. <laughs> but there you go. It doesn't do much. I don't know if you'll even get one subscriber and if that subscriber will even watch in the first place. Sorry, that's harsh, but it's true. Anyway, you know, more time on those, you know, and, and also time on, on the topics too. But that's my strategy. I'm giving that to you. Just to recap there, 
I am studying my competitors like crazy. I'm finding out what's the most popular content that's performing super well on multiple channels, channels with millions of subscribers, channels with just 100,000, 50,000, 25,000 subscribers. What are those top performing videos? I want them all listed out on my phone. I'm screenshotting from my phone, throwing it into Google Docs so I can look at every best performing video in my niche so I know what topics are really, really good to talk on that people wanna watch. Doing the same with shorts, and then I'm also writing down who I think my audience is, what content I think they are going to enjoy the most, and then also comparing, you know, what I think my audience is to, you know, the channels that already exist out there that I think are in my niche. And then with all that information, I am making a content strategy of shorts to put out because I can see the top performing topics, so I can make similar videos to those, and then I can also see the top performing topics for long form videos, and I'm going to make videos for those. That's my strategy. With long form videos, planning out my thumbnails and titles first, making sure they are the best of the best and that there is no way that my target audience could avoid not clicking on them. And then I'm going to make the video and then I'll make the video after that. That's my plan. Um, but yeah, <laughs> we will jump to some questions. If you do have questions, now's the time to submit them. I'm now looking for questions. So if you want to put those in, let me know. If there's any way I can help you grow your channel, if there's any way I can help you make better content, whether it's on your phone, computer, anything like that, I want to be a resource to you. That's why I do these live streams every single week. I am literally want to, you know, I, I find with my channel, you know, I get like a, a lot of views because I have a lot of content ranking in search, but I want to be available for you guys. If you need help growing your channel, um, that's what this is for, <laughs> you know, um, or just to help you make better content. You know, I think in the future, we'll probably get more into just how do we make better videos? Maybe we'll do a live stream where I walk through me designing thumbnails. Would that be interesting? Let me know in the chat. Maybe I can just go through how I design a thumbnail, just live, live stream it. That'd be pretty awesome. Um, let's take a look at some questions potentially dropped. Um, Hey, let's just read this one here. Uh, my current goal is to attract 200 to 300 subs a week and getting uh, to 1K to 1.5K subs a month. Been working mainly on this goal. Um, awesome goal. Um, and I remember, you know, getting to that point too, um, where it'd be like, you know, I'd had the couple hundred, kept posting content, you know, and then it got to, at, at my highest point of subscribers, I was getting 6,000 subscribers a month, which was so cool. You know, it's su such a big number of subscribers. Um, but you got this, you know, uh, even just getting to 200 to 300 subs a week, you know, I think that's doable. It's totally doable. Um, Ooh, and, uh, Tony Locke dropped an awesome resource here. I have heard of this, uh, videos, check out answer the public.com for video ideas. Yeah. It's, it's a great thing. Cause like, I think you, if I'm not mistaken, the website you put in like a phrase and it splits out this like tree into a whole bunch of different phrases rephrasing it you know different things like that which is really really cool um i believe that's what that tool does <laughs> let's see and he also says to smash the like button which i totally agree with tony on this one please hit that like button you know i'm giving you this value for free so i appreciate returning the love giving this a like let me know that you're here and you're enjoying the content um and also you know what? We'll do community posts later this week. Let me know what you want to see in the future on these live streams. If there's something I can give of myself that will help you grow your YouTube channel, make better content, it's a topic I haven't talked about yet, I'll make sure I cover it. Um, so make sure to let me know there. Um, <laughs> and that says, yes, please. Um, maybe in reference to the thumbnail video. I'm not too sure. Uh, what content will blow up and can I get a, and could I get a shout out? Shout outs don't blow up. Um, and I can tell you that from personal experience. I think there was two times, for sure once, I promoted my own brother. I told all my followers to that this person is my brother. He has a YouTube channel. Go and subscribe to him. He actually might be in the chat. If you're in the chat, we'll do another shout out again for you if you want. But I told everyone that, you know, my own sibling. You know how many people went over? It was something like five to 10 people subscribed. That was it. Out of my thousands of subscribers, five to 10 people went over and subscribed. Shout outs will not grow your channel and shout outs won't help you make better content. And that's what you need to do to actually grow organically on YouTube. So the shout out isn't going to magically make the algorithm like you. And now all of a sudden you're going to just 
exponentially grow, you know, people might subscribe and then they'll just unsubscribe if you're making bad content. If you're making good content, you'll attract the right viewers, people who are actually interested in the content that you're making, and that'll that'll grow your channel. That'll blow you up. That's all YouTube cares about. Getting people to click and watch till the end. If you do those two things, you win. Just click it and, and watch till the end. Um, so that's why I'm saying, you know, step number one is click and then it's watch till the end. So that click is so important. That's why I'm designing my thumbnails and titles first before making the video. Um, so that way I have a killer idea, awesome thumbnail that's super curiosity provoking, really well designed. And then I'm making the content because that's what's going to cause my brand new channel to blow up is a good topic. And everyone's like, oh my gosh, I have to click on this. And then depending how well I make that video, they might watch it till the end. And then I'm gonna have a brand new channel reach a thousand subscribers in 30 days. Again, might not happen. I'm probably gonna be, I might, well, I'm not gonna say I'm probably gonna be a put in my place. I'm gonna have the right mindset in my head and be like, yes, I can achieve this. I'm gonna put in the work, make sure I put out good content to make this happen. Um, but that's how you blow up. Not by shout outs. Just getting people to click and watch till the end. Starts with the click. Focus on topics, titles, and thumbnails if you really want to, really want to grow there. Um, let's see here. Hey, Colin. Uh, can OU stream here because I'm December. I'm going to do a hangout live stream. Uh, yes. Um, actually, um, I've moved over to Melon, but you know, whatever live streaming platform you want to use, you're open to do so. But I'm actually on Melon now. Uh, you can use it for free if you want. I don't have a link in the description yet. I'm right now working on getting that link. Um, but that's where I've moved over to now is Melon. Um, but yeah, you can do hangouts in live stream platforms. That's a little no unknown secret here. If you have multiple people in a Zoom call, they'll like restrict it to 40 minutes. If you do a hangout in a live streaming software, they don't like restrict how long people just sit before you even click record. So I found that kind of funny. You can actually you know, get around having a ton of people on a video call by just hosting it in a live stream software. But yeah, whatever you want to use. Um, but yeah, just public notice. I've now moved to Melon. Um, it's also a lot lower cost too. You'll get a, a lo lower price than uh, what StreamYard offers. All right. How do I grow my sub count fast? Yes, that's what we've been talking about this whole stream. Um, because I'm starting a brand new channel, trying to go to zero to a thousand in 30 days. That's my optimistic goal. Um, but as we were talking about figuring out what niche you're going to go in, um, you know, make sure you're picking one niche, try to learn about those people as much as possible. Maybe just rewatch this live stream, start from the beginning, but just to give you a little stuff there, study people in your niche, look at the best performing videos and make content either similar to that follow-up content, like almost like a reply or the next video that someone should watch. Um, you know, success leaves clues. If those were good topic ideas that got a lot of views, chances are you'll be able to make the same content and be able to ride that, that, that wave of high performing content. It's my experience. That's what's worked. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing. Um, and I'm also putting out shorts because I think shorts uh, could be a great way to grow your subscribers, at least from what I've seen from a lot of people. All right. But yes, fastest way to grow your sub count, though, is just making good content. And it all starts with the click. So focus on your topics you're choosing and then your thumbnail and title before you make the video. So come up with a very catch, you know, either it's a tutorial, which it's easier to choose a topic for that, or you're making something so intriguing, so interesting, so entertaining. It's an incredible topic of choice. And then you're making a very good thumbnail and title that persuades people to click. That's where you need to focus if you're trying to grow your channel. Um, don't even worry about the video part yet. As, as long as you can get people to click, come to me when you have the problem of 100% click-through rate, but you have poor audience retention. Then we can talk. But until you have 100% click-through rate, um, you know, don't worry about it. Or even a 50% click-through rate. That'd be good. <laughs> but people are feeling it to click-through rate, I think, more uh, than anything else. Um, and so that's where a lot of the, the focus should be. Uh, is posting 10 times a day good for subscribers? Um, so <laughs> I'm going to say probably not for you, uh, but some channels it might be. 
For example, WWE, like the wrestling channel, I think they upload something stupid like 10 to 30 videos a day. Uh, news channels upload something stupid like 5 to 30 videos a day. Um, for a brand new creator, that is not enough time to upload a video, learn, and, and maybe this is the, simp the, the easier example. Upload as fast as you can so long as when you upload a video, you are taking time to learn from your mistakes because, yes, you will have mistakes and are able to improve on them and get better with every single video. I'm a big believer in that quantity leads to quality, mainly because quantity helps you improve your skills. So if you are practicing making thumbnails every single day in one year, you're going to be such a better thumbnail maker because you are making thumbnails every single day. That's 365 thumbnails. That's nuts. That's a lot of thumbnail design. If you are just making tiny content, you're not putting a lot of effort and just upload, 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 it's not going to work. You're not going to get anywhere. You're not going to get anywhere. Um, so, you know, upload as frequently as you can, but because you're trying to learn the skills needed to be a better creator. You're trying to learn editing. You're practicing editing every single day. So maybe upload maybe once a day if you can, if you have that time. You might burn out though, because that's a lot of content. It's a lot of very time consuming and you're not going to see results probably for three to six to a year to five years, okay? This is a long game. This isn't going to be, if I upload 10 times a day for 30 days, I'm going to be monetized and skippity doo da might happen but probably not because you need to build the skills needed to design thumbnails to edit videos to choose good topics that people are interested in you know, these are all skills being confident on camera um you know, there's a lot of skills to learn so that 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 would be my opinion make a lot of content but mainly because you want to improve your skills and get better at it um and that'll you know essentially help you get more subs faster that'll help you grow faster um, because you're becoming a better content creator. Let's see. What kind of videos did you make with your phone? Oh, you can actually go back on my channel and watch them. But the videos I made on my phone was how to film and edit on a phone. <laughs> so I had a phone, um, which was the cheapest iPhone. And so I just started teaching people. Like I've, I've always been interested in filmmaking and like photography type stuff and editing. I love making fun videos with my siblings. So I wanted to teach that. But instead of people buying all this expensive gear and equipment, I wanted to teach it where it's just like, hey, I can use the phone in my pocket. And I can make good content. Here's how to do it. So I taught things like how to color grade, how to make thumbnails, you know, how to edit, which eventually led to like my cap cut videos. Um, my most popular video, the one with like 2.1 million views, filmed on the front facing camera of the cheapest iPhone, not even the back high quality cameras, the, the front facing camera there. That's where it was filmed on um, 2.1 million views done on an iPhone on the lower quality camera. So um, I've got a lot of videos on my channel just shot on front facing camera. Um, it was only until like how long ago? Let's say six months to a year ago, I bought this Sony a7C. Um, which is that like a full frame DSLR, you know, just shooting on my phone. I got monetized. I made money, I had money to spend on uh, a camera at that point. So that's what I did. Um, but yeah, leading up to that, couldn't afford an expensive camera. So I just used my, just use my iPhone Now maybe behind. Cause I just, I know I've seen this before, but I'm still pulling it up Elvira. Cause it's so important. Content is keen. Content is so much more important than than, than everything else. Yes, it is repeating some of the comments. So let me scroll ahead here. Um, um, yeah, I'm definitely seeing some uh, behind the uh, back, uh, back comments here. But yes, please, thumbnail design live stream. That is being noted. I will do a thumbnail design live stream. It's happening. All right, let me see if I can get to the caught up again. I'm lagging. Uh-oh. You know why? You know why I'm lagging? I didn't plug in my... Um, internet modem thing. Do I have a port? Let's see. Uno momento. This might get really laggy in a second because I'm switching to Ethernet cable, but let's just see what happens. Will you lose me? I don't know. <laughs> Let me know if it's going to be still laggy, but normally I have for these live streams, I have, uh, 
Am I still lagging? Let me know. Let me scroll a little bit <laughs> forward here. Am I still lagging? Let me know in the comments. Um, whoopsies. <laughs> Yay, you're not lagging. Oh, there's that comment. Sweet. <laughs> um, seems much better. Great. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know what happened with that. Normally for my live streams, I even upgrade my internet just so I could have it hooked up to like a, you know, plugged right into the internet. This time I forgot to do that. <laughs> so I just going through the Wi-Fi. So that's probably why it was, uh, probably why it was laggy. All right. Let me see if, uh, if there's any other comments I missed. If you did just jump into the stream talking about how to grow your YouTube channel, how to make better content. If you want to watch the replays, you know, I do get into my strategy of starting a brand new channel, which is what I'm starting, I'm trying to get it to 1,000 subscribers in 30 days. We'll see if that works. Um, but I do share some of those strategies at the beginning of this live stream. But if you do have questions, drop them in the chat. would love to answer them for you. Um, uh, how do you make money off of YouTube? I don't know. I do this full time. <laughs> um. Uh, but yes, may, off of YouTube money, well, well, we'll reference this as in like making money still online, but off of YouTube um, would be few, through things like building an email list where you can email people, whether that's, um, you know, an email list, you basically have like a whole bunch of people's email addresses, maybe every week or every other week, you're sending them tips. You know, I have an email list. Um but you're sending them, you know, information. But in that information, you could include things like affiliate links, and you're able to monetize through that. You could get brand deals where they sponsor your email list, um, or you're selling your own products, um, whether it's like a digital guide or a course or something. You're letting your email subscribers know about it. The reason why you'd want to do that versus just letting your subscribers know about it is your subscribers, they might not see every video you post. They might not, you know, it might not show up on their watch page. And, and sometimes, you know, videos that aren't an interesting topic and it's just you announcing like a product you, you just created, you know, that video might not perform and not be shown to everyone versus if you send an email out that shows up in everyone's inbox, hopefully, um, and they are able to open it up and learn that information. What businesses have found is you get the biggest return on your investment or you make the most money through email marketing. Even in 2022, you still make the most money Versus advertising on Facebook versus email marketing, email marketing wins. You'll make more money there than advertising on YouTube or Facebook or anything else. Um, so yeah, email is still very, very important, even in 2022. I know us younger people are like, email, really? I barely check my email, but still, there, there are emails I will open up and read every single time because the information that's being given to me is really, really valuable. So that's kind of a little bit, um, I do talk about in an earlier video, if you want to check it out, uh, 13 YouTube side hustles that you can start today. I made that video about a couple of months ago, but check that out. That'll show you some ways you can make money off of YouTube as well. All right. Um, scrolling down, scrolling down, scrolling down. I can't find questions. Ooh, here we go. Um, so we'll cover this one real quick. Um, just because new people join in, if you missed the beginning of the stream, this is literally <laughs> what the beginning of the stream was about. Starting from zero subscribers and going to a thousand subs, what are your plans for sure shorts versus long form content? Um, so I talked about this throughout the, the whole beginning of the stream, so I'll cover it briefly here, just so everyone who is here doesn't have to listen to me repeat this. Uh, over and over. But my main plan is, is I've studied the top performing videos in my niche. So I figured out who I'm trying to reach, what my niche is, who those people are, wrote it, wrote down information about them, their problems, their end goals, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then what I did was I looked at competitors in my niche, both for short form and long form. And I wrote down and took screenshots of all their top performing videos. So I literally have in my notes, these are all links to top performing shorts in my niche. And then in my Google Docs, I literally have tons and tons of videos. These are all the top performing videos in the niche that I'm trying to reach um, from multiple different channels. So I have a reference point of which topics are performing really, really well in my niche. And then what I'm going to do is make similar content to that. 
um, usually, you know, not copying word for word, but doing the video in my own way. And if that topic was successful and it performed really well, well in the past, success leaves clues. And so I can make more up-to-date information about that. I could potentially, um, you know, make similar content, make follow-up content. I can see top performing videos. If those are working right now, I can do similarly. So that's my plan. That's my strategy there. <laughs> so I'm going to probably I'm gonna look at all those top performing videos, make a content strategy, and then also make sure to, you know, do the thumbnail and title first before doing anything else. Uh, Cause thumbnail and title and topic is more important than your videos. Don't even upload the video. If you don't have a, a good thumbnail topic and title planned out is my opinion. Colin is <laughs> the best YouTuber in the world. <laughs> Perhaps so. Don't say that shark fin. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, let's see. Um, Tony Locke, I see the video, uh, uh, the video that blew up. Yeah. Tony is, Tony has an awesome short that's blowing up. I was, I was super stoked to see that, that, uh, you know, and, and that's, what's exciting. Like shorts are really working out well. And that's one of the reasons I'm hopping on with this new channel on shorts. I think it's a great way to get a lot of views really quick and potentially reach your target audience, encourage them to subscribe. Um, and you know, I'm going to be <laughs> testing that out. Does shorts actually work for growing a brand new channel? Will I get a ton more subscribers and help YouTube realize a lot quicker who the right person is to serve my video because I've attracted them through shorts? We'll find out. <laughs> Uh, hey, Colin, can I stream even though I don't have 100K subs? Um, yeah, you should be able to. Um, a lot of the streaming platforms let you stream to YouTube. Ultimately, though, you probably want to test it out. You can do like a test live stream. So, you know, uh, I think StreamYard has a free version. So you can just use the free version uh, and test it out. Let's see. <laughs> uh, I have more shorts than long form and though this is lopsided, but just today gained six subs from one short. That's still awesome. Depending on the size of your channel, that might be huge. Get an extra six subs on your channel. Um, I've seen some people's shorts where they blow up and they get, you know, hundred subscribers or a couple hundred subscribers as a result of a short. And that's where I'm thinking. I'm thinking like if I put out enough, you know, a few shorts to start off my channel, just if a few of those you know, blow up. I might get, you know, 100 to 500 subs right off the bat. That'd be pretty awesome. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Going through the comments. Also, did you guys notice this is a standing setup here? I'm now standing instead of sitting. So I have more energy. We can do a, a, a fitness channel now, <laughs> which is awesome. Um, but yeah, now I'm standing and the whole idea, what I'll probably end up doing, uh, for one of these next live streams, I might actually hook up my, uh, road wireless go so I can have like the microphone clipped on and then I can like run around the room and be like, you know, I can back up, I can sit down, I can do a whole bunch of different things. Why? I don't know. Just to get my energy up, but I might do that the next live stream. So I don't always have to be here right by the microphone. I can kind of back up and, you know, that way I can walk back and I can get up close and I can walk back. And I can get up close, you know, <laughs> do something like that. Yeah, that'd be fun. Um, let's see comments. Have they come in? If not, that is okay. <laughs> so I've been talking for a bit. We're at 43 minutes. I was going to wrap this up at the hour mark. So we got about 15 minutes. So if you did have a question for me, even if it's stupid, even if it's silly, you can drop it down below. I'll try and get to it here before the stream wraps up. Uh, it's also nice just to see everyone here from Clubhouse. Um, if you ever want to connect with me personally on a deeper level um, and just have a conversation with me, download the Clubhouse app. It's what we're talking about in the chat. I see uh, Tony talking about it and everything. Um, great place to connect with me. Um, like I'm, I'm in there almost every day, oftentimes. Uh, depending on, you know, not other things more serious happening in my life, but I'm in there pretty often. So definitely, uh, do that. If you want to connect with me more, you can just have conversations with me. Pretty, pretty cool. And I also want to meet you. I love it when I, you know, get to talk to other subscribers, help them. Um, or sometimes, you know, they give me input that helps me. Um, all right. 
let's keep her moving. <laughs> uh, Sarika, you're in the chat. Nice to see you. Uh, my channel is a result of me filling things stacked away for my kids. I had to learn all this YouTube magic so I didn't look like a dork. <laughs> Long road. No worries. We're all, um, don't look at my earliest videos. That's, I was a big, uh, dork as well, but it does, you know, fall off over time once you kind of, you know, get used to making videos, making content, which is where I get the kind of qu quantity leads to quality. You know, you get better as you, you, you practice these new skills, lots of skills that you have to learn. It's okay to look at, it's okay to be a dork. <laughs> Let's see. Hey, Colin, I have a new phone. Is it the iPhone 14? That'd be pretty sweet. <laughs> he also said how do you use a light motion i do not know it is an app that i've always wanted i have it downloaded on my phone and i've wanted to make tutorials youtube tells me in my research tab in my analytics that you should make a light motion tutorials i just have never gotten to it never gotten enough time to just really get into it and make tutorials around it um one day i will potentially get to it <laughs> Potentially, but it's been months. You know, light motion's been out forever and I've yet to make tutorials. So, oof. Hey, and it is an iPhone 14 Pro Max. Sheesh, man. Sheesh. Lucky you, sir. I'm sure, it's really nice. Let's see. Is Colin answering the questions? My video is loading, but the chat works well. Dig Nabbit, is it lagging everyone? <laughs> but yes, I am answering questions. <laughs> I don't know why it's lagging. I'll have to figure it out. I will say my internet has been kind of wonky the past few days. I've noticed where like I was trying to like load Amazon and Amazon wasn't loading. I was like, what's going on? Why is Amazon loading? It's going to just be my internet's being wonky. Um... Just could be just that way with an off live stream. Um, <laughs> uh, Colin, uh, you changed me. I was so sad. YouTuber went hard to reply to my comment, and then you respond. I was like hyped up. Yay. A YouTuber reply. That's why I subscribe. <laughs> so take note of this, everyone. All right. And animal, let me also take note. Animal videos kid has literally come to this live stream so many times. We even did a dance party for this guy's birthday. Okay. All I did was heart his comment. Maybe I put a reply. I'm not sure if you said that. Oh, heart or reply to my comment. And then you respond and I was like hyped up. Okay. And, and, and here's the thing. Even if you are a smaller channel, replying to comments is huge. Sometimes I fail at it. I right now have a whole bunch of comments I should go and heart or reply to. But that literally makes the difference between building a community and not. Animal videos kid shows up all the time and it all started with me just harding and replying to him. That's awesome. <laughs> and I'm so glad you are here because you're, you're an awesome part of this live stream. Um, but yeah, that, that I just want to make that note out there. Even if you're a smaller channel, build community, reply to comments, heart them, make sure no one gets by without that. It's a lot harder when you get a, a little bit bigger and there's a lot of comments that come through every single day, but still try your best to get through those because people do care. People um, do see that uh, when you when you do reply. So that's awesome. That's really awesome. All right. <laughs> Are we going to dance? No end cage. <laughs> I don't have my uh, my uh, light set up. This week is kind of wonky. I uh, can't explain why. More of like personal family reasons. But uh, this week's really wonky. Um, hopefully next week will be a little bit normal. But I will say, if I get this Rode microphone set up... Um, ugh. if I get this set up and I'm already doing this standing desk thing, mainly cause you know, if I want to record a video, I just walk in here, I click record and I'm standing in front of my camera and I can shoot a video real quick and boom, I'm done. I don't even have to like sit down and be unenergized cause I'm sitting. It's just like, boom, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. <laughs> but because I'm also doing a standing setup, if I get this road microphone set up, that means I can dance to music and people can make gifs of me. Yes, <laughs> but at least not this week. Let's not do that. Let's, let's not do, I mean, let's not do tonight. <laughs> Don't have anything set up. 
Yeah, so some people says laggy, some people say don't. Whatever. I'm just going to roll with it. Cool beans. <laughs> Always write, reply to actual comments, not spam. Yes. Don't if they if they're saying to you uh, uh, go to their what's message me on WhatsApp and all that kind of stuff. Do not reply to those. Just a uh, uh, report or hide from channel or or something. Um. Let's see. <laughs> it's not his birthday today. It was his birthday. <laughs> yeah, I was a little confusing there. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right. We're about near the end of the uh, the live stream here. Um, so if, um, I don't know if anyone has any last words that they want to throw in here. I'm totally going to oh, jump. There we go. I paused it. Cool. Um, but we're probably going to wrap it up here just because it's going to be a little shorter this week. Like I said, it's kind of been a, a wonky week for me. Um, but, um, <laughs> oh no, everyone thinks it's uh kid. Perfect. Happy birthday in advance. Is it kid? Perfect. Bur I can't speak. Is it kid? Perfect's Uh, birthday. Hey, Oh yes, it is. Hey, it is low key. My birthday tomorrow. Come on, everyone in the live stream is having a birthday, apparently. Um, oh, and see, and I totally screwed up. I was like, huh, why are you saying animal video is kid's birthday? It's not. No, it's uh, Kid Perfect. Happy birthday, Kid Perfect. Um, looks like, well, it's a Sunday. So if you are a kid, you'll at least have off for your birthday, which is good. Um, and we hit 50 likes. Let's go. Sweet. Um, and... Yes, let's not forget this. Uh, Storica celebrates four months of membership. Always learning, knowledge is power. So awesome that you've been <laughs> that you've been with a, a member of the channel for four months. If you guys want to join, support the channel a little bit. There's a join button underneath the screen where you can uh, help support the channel. Um, Storica has been around for four months supporting. It means so much to me that you, you stuck around this long. Um, so I, I really do appreciate you coming to the live streams, hanging out um supporting the channel um that's awesome it's so awesome um all right hi from india and love from india nice to see you here um thanks for stopping by glad you could show up um all right so i think we're gonna probably wrap it up i got nothing left to say i don't see too many other questions uh coming into uh the the chat that's all right uh thanks for coming uh, next week we should have a little bit more planned live stream who knows we might even have a special guest we'll have to see um but anyway thanks for everyone for showing up um and i'll probably see you guys on the next live stream uh and yeah thank you so much see you guys next time